Santa. But always we get to like Mrs. Claus. Why? Because we don't have a, a big belly because I like to do a few sit-ups every now and then. <sighs> I've been telling Nick to join me for Pilates class for the last 752 years. Nothing. And he doesn't care that people compare him to a bowl full of jelly. No, nothing. Mm. <sighs> Nick's definitely not getting any of these. Better take some more pork quickly. I got my milk. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sheet Can Cook. Today we're going to be making gingerbread cookie bars stuffed with mince pie filling. Technically it's called mince meat, but I think some people think it has meat in it and it doesn't, so I just thought I'd say mince pie filling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's going to be topped with a ginger crumble. Y'all don't want to miss this. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to need is the actual cookie itself. We've got here 200 grams of white chocolate. And if you've ever made any of my cookie videos, you'll see the recipe is almost identical, but with a few extra add-ons because it's a gingerbread cookie. So yeah, 200 grams of white chocolate. I've got here 80 grams of crystallized ginger. I've got 115 grams of partially melted butter. 70 grams of granulated sugar. 130 grams of brown sugar. One egg. I've got 300 grams of plain flour and then I've also got here half a teaspoon of baking powder baking powder, I mean baking soda or bicarbonate of soda I've got one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of vanilla essence I've also, to make it gingerbread, I've got here half a teaspoon of nutmeg one teaspoon of cinnamon and two and a half teaspoons of ginger and then I've also got inside, I've got the mince pie filling mince meat, I've got it from Tesco and I've also got here a ginger preserve, it's like a ginger jam, and we're going to stuff the cookie with this. Now, for the actual crumble, I've got here 200 grams of plain flour, I've got 100 grams of butter, I've got one teaspoon of ground ginger, and I've got here 40 grams of granulated sugar. So, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mix together our sugar and our butter. So, our sugars, should I say. Add in our baking soda, salt, and vanilla essence. Okay, now I'm just going to add at this point, I'm going to add our spices. Don't forget, as well, if you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the subscriptions mean so much to me. And comment down below what you think at the end of this video as well. And I'm always happy for more ideas and things like that as well. Okay, at this point I'm just going to add in the egg. adding our flour and then we're going to get ready to add in the last few bits. Okay, now at this point we're just going to add in our white chocolate and our ginger pieces. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to bake half the batch in the oven for about 15 minutes and I'm going to take it out and finish it off. But you bake the first bit in the oven because otherwise if you don't, it will be too soft if you bake it all together. So that's why we bake the bottom base first. Now 
this is ready to go into the oven for, I say 15 minutes, but I'll say 12 to 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, so whilst that's in the oven, we're just gonna get started on our ginger crumble. So the first thing we're gonna do is add in our flour. And then to that, I'm gonna add in the sugar. Just, no, we don't. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add in our ginger. And then I'm gonna add in our the basil. We'll give this a little stir stir. Okay, now that's stirred together. I'm gonna add in our butter. And obviously you need to have clean hands always, but especially for this. Okay. And you're just gonna crumb it together. So you can use one hand, two hands, I might get in with both my hands in a second. <laughs> you're just going to kind of, you just want to pinch like that in your hands to get the crumble. Okay, and that's exactly what you want. You want it to be nice and kind of free. And you want to have a few clumps in there, so that's when you get the big crunchy bits of crumble. And this is all done. So this is ready for when our cookie, our first batch comes out. We're going to add this to top it all off. Okay, so now at this point, all we're going to do is add in our mince pie filling. So I've just taken this out of the oven and I just let it cool for about three minutes, just so that it just firms up just a little bit so we can spread our filling. close to the edges as you can but you don't want it to go quite to the edges because you don't want it to leak over so we're going to spread it just sort of where we've, we've got maybe half an inch space around the edges okay now to actually top that off with our cookie first of all i am going to put it onto a piece of baking paper and what this is going to do is going to help us to spread this out and then neatly put it over this so this is all as you can see the cookie is completely covered and all i'm going to do now i'm going to add in our ginger preserve ginger jam whatever what's this called ginger shred <laughs> I think that's actually just the brand uh, um, and I'm just going to spread this around the top and then we're going to add our crumble my idea of tiny you guys know it's not tiny <laughs> okay so I'm just going to spread this and then add the crumble This is ready to go extra crumble. Don't need that much. This is all ready to go into the oven. And we're going to put this into the oven for 18 minutes or 18 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Let's go. Okay, so this has just come out of the oven, and as you can see, it's got some nice golden brown bits. This is exactly what you want. You want to have a few golden brown bits just so you know it's really going to be that kind of crunchy and it's going to be cooked through. And um, I'm just going to let this cool for about 15 minutes or so, just to harden up slightly, and then I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna do the taste test. Let's go. And there you have it, our gingerbread cookie bars stuffed with mince pie filling. Let's go ahead and taste this. Oh, before we taste this, do you guys like my Christmas jumper? Shout out to the holiday armadillo. Okay, and I have show you guys this you can see the layers there you can see the white chocolate the crumble the mince pie filling or mince meat oh I will say actually as well when I was gonna cut this up it was a little bit too soft so I put it into the oven for an extra five minutes so instead of 20 minutes leave it in the oven for half an hour and then take it out 
it'll be perfect. Just because of the crumble needs that little bit extra time. Okay. This is so gingery. And the mince pie filling, the ginger preserve, I can really taste the ginger. And because of the cinnamon and the nutmeg as well, mm -hmm. you guys need to try this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys tried this recipe. If you did like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I release a new video every single Tuesday and I don't want you guys to miss out. Um, and if you, I mean, if you have any suggestions, if you would just love to support the channel in the comments section, I won't say no. Um, I love reading all the comments and I appreciate all the comments as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in a new video next week, Tuesday. I'm to decide if this is going to work because I'm finished here. Yeah.